Carlos Peña Romulo, the 14th of January 1898 to the 15th of December 1985, was a Filipino diplomat, statesman, soldier, journalist, and author. He was a reporter at 16, a newspaper editor by the age of 20, and a publisher at 32. He was a co-founder of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines, a general in the U.S. Army and the Philippine Army, university president, president of the UN General Assembly, was eventually named one of the Philippines' national artists in literature, and was the recipient of many other honors and honorary degrees. His hometown is Kamaling, Tarlac and he studied at the Kamaling Central Elementary School during his basic education. Topic. Diplomatic career Topic. Romulo served eight Philippine presidents, from Manuel L. Quezon to Ferdinand Marcos, as the Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines and as the country's representative to the United States and to the United Nations. He also served as the resident commissioner to the U.S. House of Representatives during the Commonwealth era. In addition, he served also as the Secretary of Education in President Diosdado P. Macapagal and President Ferdinand E. Marcos's cabinet through 1962 to 1968. Topic: Resident Commissioner. Topic: Romulo served as Resident Commissioner of the Philippines to the United States Congress from 1944 to 1946. This was the title of the non-voting delegate to the U.S. House of Representatives for lands taken in the Spanish-American War, and as such, he is the only member of the U.S. Congress to end his tenure via illegal secession from the Union. United Nations In his career in the United Nations, Romulo was a strong advocate of human rights, freedom and decolonization. In 1948 in Paris, France, at the Third UN General Assembly, he strongly disagreed with a proposal made by the Soviet delegation headed by Andrei Vyshinsky, who challenged his credentials by insulting him with this quote, You are just a little man from a little country. In return, Romulo replied, It is the duty of the little Davids of this world to fling the pebbles of truth in the eyes of the blustering Goliaths and force them to behave leaving Vyshinsky with nothing left to do but sit down. Topic. President of the UN General Assembly Topic. He served as the President of the Fourth Session of United Nations General Assembly from 1949 to 1950, the first Asian to hold the position, and served as President of the United Nations Security Council four times, twice in 1957, 1980 and 1981. He had served with General Douglas MacArthur in the Pacific, and became the first non-American to win the Pulitzer Prize in correspondence in 1942. The Pulitzer Prize website says Carlos P. Romulo of Philippine Herald was awarded for his observations and forecasts of Far Eastern developments during a tour of the trouble centers from Hong Kong to Batavia. Topic. Campaign for Secretary General Topic. Romulo ran for the office of United Nations Secretary General in the 1953 selection. He fell two votes short of the required seven-vote majority in the Security Council, finishing second to Lester B. Pearson of Canada. His ambitions were further dashed by negative votes from France and the Soviet Union, both of whom were permanent members with veto power. The Security Council eventually settled on a dark horse candidate and selected Dag Hammarskjöld as Secretary General of the United Nations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ambassador to the United States. Topic: <inaudible> From January 1952 to May 1953, Romulo became only the second former member of Congress to become the ambassador to the United States from a foreign country, following Joaquin M. Elizalde, who had been his immediate predecessor in both posts. He later served as ambassador again from September 1955 to February 1962. Topic. Philippine presidential aspiration 
Instead, he returned to the Philippines and was a candidate for the nomination as the presidential candidate for the Liberal Party, but lost at the party convention to the incumbent Elpidio Quirino, who ran unsuccessfully for re-election against Ramon Magsaysay. Quirino had agreed to a secret ballot at the convention, but after the convention opened, the president demanded an open roll call voting, leaving the delegates no choice but supporting Quirino, the candidate of the party machine. Feeling betrayed, Romulo left the Liberal Party and became national campaign manager of Magsaysay, the candidate of the opposing Nationalista Party who won the election. Minister of Foreign Affairs He was the signatory for the Philippines to the United Nations Charter when it was founded in 1945. He was the Philippines. Secretary Minister from 1973 to 1984 of Foreign Affairs under President Elpidio Quirino from 1950 to 1952, under President Diosdado Macapagal from 1963 to 1964 and under President Ferdinand Marcos from 1968 to 1984. In April 1955 he led the Philippines' delegation to the Asian African Conference at Bandung. Topic. Resignation from the Marcos cabinet Topic. Romulo supported President Ferdinand Marcos through most of his presidency. But he resigned soon after the assassination of Benigno Aquino, citing poor health. Gregorio Brillantes interviewed him in 1984, and he said he resigned, heartsick, because of the assassination of Aquino, whom he considered a friend and the resulting freefall of the Philippines' economy and international reputation. Published books Romulo, in all, wrote and published 22 books, which includes the United novel, I Walked with Heroes autobiography, I Saw the Fall of the Philippines, Mother America and I See the Philippines Rise wartime memoirs. Topic. Death He died, at 87, in Manila on 15 December 1985 and was buried in the Heroes Cemetery He was honored as one of the truly great statesmen of the 20th century. In 1980, he was extolled by United Nations Secretary General Kurt Waldheim as Mr. United Nations for his valuable services to the United Nations and his dedication to freedom and world peace. Honours National Honours Quezon Service Cross April 17, 1951 Philippine Legion of Honour, Commander National Artist of the Philippines Topic. Awards and recognitions Topic. Romulo is perhaps among the most decorated Filipino in history, which includes 72 honorary degrees from different international institutions and universities and 144 awards and decorations from foreign countries Nobel Peace Prize nomination in 1952 for his contribution in international cooperation, in particular on questions on undeveloped areas, and as president for UN's Fourth General Assembly. United States Presidential Medal of Freedom, January 12, 1984 Boy Scouts of America Silver Buffalo Award Distinguished Service Star of the Philippines Philippine Gold Cross Distinguished Silver Star Purple Heart Presidential Unit Citation with Two Oak Leaf Clusters U.S. Legion of Merit Commander. Grand Cross of the Order of the Phoenix from the Greek Government Grand Cross of the Order of Carlos Manuel du Céspedes from the Republic of Cuba Pulitzer Prize in Correspondence, 1942 World Government News First Annual Gold Nadal Award for work in the United Nations for Peace and World Government, March 1947 Princeton University, Woodrow Wilson Memorial Foundation Gold Medal Award, in recognition of his contribution to public life, May 1947 
International Benjamin Franklin Society's Gold Medal for Distinguished World Statesmanship in 1947, January 1948. Freeman of the City of Plymouth, England, October 1948. United Nations Peace Medal World Peace Award Four Freedoms Peace Award Philippine Presidential Medal of Merit, July 3, 1949 Hero of the Republic Award, 1984 Notre Dame University, Doctor of Laws, LL.D., 1935 Georgetown University, Doctor of Laws, LL.D., 1960 Harvard University, Doctor of Laws, LL.D., 1950 Topic. Anecdotes from Beth Romulo through Reader's Digest June 1989. Topic. At the Third UN General Assembly, held in Paris in 1948, the USSR's Deputy Foreign Minister, André Vyshinsky, sneered at Romulo and challenged his credentials, You are just a little man from a little country. Quote, quote, it is the duty of the little Davids of this world, cried Romulo. To fling the pebbles of truth in the eyes of the blustering Goliaths and force them to behave. During his meeting with Josip Broz Tito of Yugoslavia, Marshal Tito welcomed Gen. Romulo with drinks and cigars, to which the general kindly refused. Their conversation went as follows. Tito. Do you drink? Romulo. No, I don't. Tito. Do you smoke? Romulo. No, thank you. Tito. What do you do then? Romulo. I etc. At this, Marshal Tito was tickled by his reply and loudly exclaimed around the room, I etc., etc., etc. Romulo was a dapper little man, barely 5 feet 4 inches in shoes. When they waited in at Leyte Beach in October 1944, and the word went out that General MacArthur was waist deep, one of Romulo's journalist friends cabled, if MacArthur was in water waist deep, Romulo must have drowned. In later years, Romulo told another story himself about a meeting with MacArthur and other tall American generals who disparaged his physical stature. Gentlemen, he declared, when you say something like that, you make me feel like a dime among nickels. Topic: <laughs> Books. Topic: I saw the fall of the Philippines. Mother America My Brother Americans I see the Philippines rise The United Crusade in Asia The John Day Company, 1955, about the 1953 presidential election campaign of Ramon Magsaysay The Meaning of Bondung the Magsaysay Story with Marvin M. Gray, The John Day Company 1956, updated re-edition by Pocket Books, Special Student Edition, SP 18, December 1957, Biography of Ramon Magsaysay, Pocket Books Edition updated with an additional chapter on Magsaysay's death. I Walked with Heroes Autobiography Last Man Off Bataan Romulo's Experience During the Japanese Plane Bombings Romulo, a third world soldier at the UN Daughters for Sale and Other Plays Topic. See also Topic. List of Asian Americans and Pacific Islands Americans in the United States Congress United States Congressional Delegations from Philippines The Thomasites Philinda Rand Topic. References Topic. Zaid, Gregorio F. 1984. Philippine History and Government. National Bookstore Printing Press. Romulo, Beth. June 1989. Unforgettable Carlos P. Romulo. Reader's Digest, Resident Commissioner of the Philippines to the United States Congress. Topic. External links. Topic. Extensive biography Carlos P. Romulo at the United States Congress. Carlos P. Romulo id, R -O 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 Biographical Directory of the United States Congress
A film clip, Longines Chronoscope with Carlos P. Romulo, is available at the Internet Archive. Newspaper clippings about Carlos P. Romulo in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.